Hello everyone, this is Professor Reha, and welcome back to AI the Somnium Files. I'm going to save the assumedly depressing version of Mizuki's yellow reality end route for a kind of a bonus in case you just, at, towards the end of the series, so if you really want some extra depression in your life, you can watch that as an end cap. So I'll save that up. For now though, I'm going to go on ahead into purple reality because... I haven't actually done so yet. Oh, I need to go in there here first. I forgot I have to go into the sink. Choose the other cage. Probably the easier uh, something to find uh, to do because, quite frankly, I already know ahead of time what uh, which choice to make. Other than the picture of her memories, I go for the other cage. An ice pick. No, no, thank you. An ice pick. I believe you push it in, if I remember correctly. Date, are you certain? Will this heal Mizuki? I don't know. Just try it. Mm, understood. Pretty sure you push it in and that raised the other thing up. No, I was wrong. I t no, obviously Mizuki forgot. Is still a child. Simple, maybe, but this is a dream. Not everything goes how you expect. <laughs> Shoko's photograph has an ice pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it out. Right. There we go. And then we come to the potential. What is it now? The pillar became a light. Yes. Blow the bird cage away. We go in here. The control room of the merry-go-round. I believe we open this, right? I think. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. See, the problem is, is this is so long ago, I can't exactly remember the steps. Okay, I did remember this one. Good, 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 good. Oh, I forgot to turn up my gain a little bit. There we go. Now you should be able to hear me a little bit better. I didn't expect to see this inside. It's a whole other reality. I do not see but little does Mizuki know, I am at this point, 2.5 alternate universes ahead of her. It's this one. I see it's the one on the right. Cages. Looks like there's something inside them. It's this one. A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. <laughs> Don't call them rubbers. <laughs> not call it a rubber. You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. <laughs> Lift it, I think. This will be easy. Glad to hear it. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. What? But it was so heavy. Not anymore. All right, nice. Now this is where I'm pretty much on my own again. I don't have past me to help me. Oh, what is this? A deflated balloon. All right, what do I do with this? I told you, please call it a balloon. <laughs> what are you getting so worked up about? <laughs> She's got to be doing that intentionally. Uh, blow it up. Understood. That makes the most sense. Uh, relax there, please. It's huge. <laughs> boobs were that big. Are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. <laughs> Well, I suppose I am not technically human. So... Date, please, be quiet. <laughs> She's so upset, it's really awesome. It took that long for it to lift off the ground? We had to have an entire conversation about boobs first? Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Apparently that's what makes balloons float. Yep, alright. Yes. Perhaps the balloon was the key. Through the magic of boobs. Oh, it's a different... It's a different story. Oh, wow. All right. Now that the bird so she's less attached to her parents in this reality, or at least her mother. Horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Yeah, that's fair. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop the disturbed 
panda bear head, I'm sure has nothing to do with it. Agent Dante, you've got five minutes. Oh, please, Pewter, this is child's Ladies. play. Loading. It's also possessed. Uh, hmm. The 32nd time he would be useless here. Slap it down? I see it! The view from the top! What? Ah, uh, did that help? No. All right, kick it away then. We we'll use the tents. No, I didn't want to do that. No, that's not what I wanted to do. No, that's ten seconds. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. It was worth it for that though. Wait, if this works, I'm going to be very upset. How are you doing that? Unknown. What do you mean? Hold on. That was a waste of time. It was kind of fun though. I would imagine that being horrifically relaxing. Oh, that was 20 seconds lost, sorry. And there we go, and now we kick it away. Which is what I wanted to do in the first place, but it was worth the other one. There we go. Oh, okay. What is this? Very go rounds can fly? They can That's now. Right. Over there. It's a lost child. Mizuki. In the middle in the middle of an ice patch? Or is that snow? Iris. Oh, hold up. Why? Interesting. Why is Iris with cuts. She appears to be frozen. Interesting. What the hell is going on? All right. What is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother See, a hard time? See, Shoko dying was just a, a public service. That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? I'm because sorry. you gave birth to her, hello? No, they wouldn't. You'd still be a hag. Sorry. Apologizing means nothing. Say something. Don't make me into the bad guy. You're always, you've always been the bad guy. Where are you panting? It's all your fault. You, you. I wish you had never been born. Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely. Queen of the hags. What's going on here? Um, childhood trauma is what's going what? on here. Yeah, the merry what comes up must go down. Boom. And Iba's dead. I was about to become a pancake. You can't, you're not real. This isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen <laughs> iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Yeah, why was that it's under the carousel? The is Purple reality is making what I thought was a nice... I thought I'd figured out most everything, but now I'm totally off. Uh... Hmm. That's a tough one. I'm gonna try breaking the glass first, see what that does. Mizuki, step back. She's not gonna hear you. Awesome. Good job. No good. Damn. Alright, so that didn't it's work. Mizuki. I've got plenty of time to play with here. I'm pretty sure this is the end of this uh Somnium. Mm, I can't decide. All of them are viable. I'll go for the gift present, but I wanted to use a timey, thank you. Might work. Don't give her a horse, please. Please don't give her a horse. You gave her a horrific Mizuki, horse. Now you can have a taste of the merry-go-round every day of your life. That's extremely disturbing. Also <laughs> what your the hell? That's your gift. And it even twitched in the most horrific fashion. I got a 30-second timey out of that for you some reason. Minutes, I know. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're gonna speak kindly now. That was it. Mizuki, can you hear me? All right, good. This is a coffee break. We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. Perfect. Yes, we will. So Unless one of us dies. It's all right now. Which, you know, considering this particular murder mystery isn't unlikely. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? That's a good idea, Date. She was communicating to us through this. Mother's voice. Oh, why would she want to hear that hag's voice? Honestly. The levels of childhood trauma are horrific. You can hear her crying. Oh, through the speaker. So you're going to... That... That's just going to cause her to believe something that is not and will never be true. So, so glad. 
that, uh, you know, personally, I think this would cause more childhood trauma than anything else because her mother's dead and her mother died hating her. So, do you um, hear something? I, I, she can never get that, that, that actual response from her mother. Really? So that's, I, I really disagree with this. Where, where's it coming from? It, it, look, ignore the phone for a second. Can we talk don't about the don't. trauma you, can't stay any you just inflicted on Mizuki? Also, that would be Mizuki's phone, I'm assuming. No! Oda dropped his phone in the puddle. It might be Oda's. But the burning question is, why was there a cut up frozen iris? See, I've been thinking she was the new Cyclops killer now, but now I'm not sure. She's definitely had some troubles of her own. If she is the Cyclops killer, by the end of this, I might actually wind up agreeing with her. My goodness. This reality is doing a great job of making things much more complex for me. Thanks, game! Mizuki, are you awake? Are you traumatized more? These are the questions that haunt us. Are you okay? Ah, uh, no, she's not okay. She's mute. Mizuki. Alright, so this is the reality in which Mizuki stays mute. Okay. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. Well, yeah, I just had this whole conversation. I knew she would still be traumatized. That's not how you do it. I did it right the first time, but this is just a different reality. This is the reality of mute Mizuki. Mute Zuki. Iba, call Iris' phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Because she was in Mizuki's Somnium with large cuts on her back and... Hello? This is uh, Kamei Tate from frozen the MPD. For some reason? I met you earlier today. Oh, Tate. Is something wrong? Where are is you Is this right before now? she becomes a witch in Black Masmi? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? No. Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? No, it's direct. Silence, fool. Okay, but if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? Damn it, Iris. No. Then go on a date with me. What? Really? A date? What the hell is wrong with you? If you will go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then... What are you going to do? I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. Why a heavy suitcase? Just honest question. Why is the heavy suitcase necessary here? <sighs> All right. Understood. See, this is why I'm suspicious of her, Understood. though. She, she and Date met before in the past, and Fine. she seems Just to be don't, if anything happens, mm, call me immediately. too interested in him. My number is. There's a. Pro what do you mean you have it? Oh, because I just called you. Never mind. What was that? A phone call? It's yes, nothing. it's a private phone call. Stay out of my business. You lie to me all the time, anyways. A, a chair. Let me see. Uh, about the ringtone, I heard uh, you wouldn't know about that. Oh, well, I'll ask anyways, what the hell. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream... Boss, don't look at me that way. Ring. Did you hear that somewhere, or did you just imagine it? Yeah, she had to have heard the ringtone. Okay, Date, so you're... there's no point talking to Silence, her. Silence, fool. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. Maybe we shouldn't traumatize her more. I'll keep on bugging you just Mizuki, because I can. I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday, and then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was. I already her. know who sent her the message I from an alternate to universe. The now, but it will take some time. It's her father's phone. Dun dun dun. Mizuki, let me see if I can traumatize you more. When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. Yes. I'm not accusing you of anything. But I do want to know why you have I that. You. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer me, Mizuki. Tate, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. And not necessarily. Some people Damn haven't been out of shock by having more shocks. It's possible. It, unlikely, Mizuki, I'll give you that, but it is I possible. Something strange in your dream. Iris. She was frozen. She was dead. With what cuts. Well, that? see, you didn't check for a pulse. You Tell can't me, necessarily Mizuki, guarantee she was dead. But it was interesting. Okay, there is no point attempting to I know, I'm gonna harass her anyways. In revenge for the other reality. 
for all those smart comments you made before. Uh, la 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 la. Yeah, do you know that ringtone? Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki Somnium. Whose was it? I know but you I know. Tell where it was coming from. Yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted I to know. know it's Not that I necessarily believe Mizuki you, meant. considering you lie through your teeth all the time. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone, then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Interesting. Which it changes report anything like that? Which changes the mystery a little no, bit. No, nothing. Because in the red reality, she saw somebody in they the, the site, tall grass. But, but in this reality, in purple reality, she heard a ringtone instead. It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. What the exactly do you mean? Wasn't a total waste no, that's of time. fair enough. We found clues. Clues? Right. Yeah, but clues that make no sense in the context of other realities. Come on. No need to report specifics. We saw <laughs> the control room. All right. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? Mm -hmm. We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it is incredible. Good job, Peter. So Although I am con still concerned about the privacy uh, the phone, issues. The frozen corpse. You see, that's the problem here. They're all assuming Iris was dead there. Yes, she was frozen. Yes, from? she had cuts on her back, but we don't necessarily uh, know. See. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Saga. <sighs> Her name is Iris Sagan, the girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation see, reports. Here's, uh, see, the, I'm going to reiterate this because I haven't reiterated this in a while, but we have some serious privacy problems here. This is also Probably a question is, huh? that we haven't asked in regards to the Somnium that That's I had overlooked. Called Iris. But Date, come on. I know a dream is just a dream. But there doesn't necessarily have anything to do yeah. with reality. But still, I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you all right? No. The sink is causing negative side effects. Maybe it's uh, those drugs you're is. dosing me with that are causing negative side effects. Have you, you ever considered maybe just letting me run wild and try to I out murder them? About the ringtone you heard. I know I'm the original Cyclops killer. From. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Probably. Or was it just? It was too specific. That's what I'm trying to find out. It was too specific of a ringtone for that. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately, not. I'll just ask you about some. In a Sonya. normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Interesting. Dreams Fair are enough. First person experiences. I I can concur However, with that. The circumstances are slightly different during a sick. So it's like an out-of-body experience in your own dreams into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were You know, I've been through this before. Hold on. Subject. This is the, the exact the exact same conversation as the other reality, which is kind of fun. I like ah. that. The corpse you saw in Samia. <sighs> I'm wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. I just somehow hit my mic with my headset. Yeah, Don't ask me how. That's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science... Yeah, these I cuts on the back are what I'm kind of concerned about. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some <laughs> kind of... Metal plate. Metal plate. <laughs> the smile he has when he says that. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some... Stab proof armor or something. That's a nice practical response. I kind of like that. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Just uh, indulging in the fantasy. You've thought about this way too much, Pewter. Do you write fan fiction somewhere in the background? Like Don't in your private me. time? Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. True. You see? Well, some people would would argue with you. I'm not really sure myself. There's evidence for and against. I want to talk about the locker. Hey, Date, remember that time you were blackout drunk? You thought how would that he... locker was a urinal? Please don't remind me. Wait, how would he remember if he was blackout drunk? Usually you can't remember things when you're blackout drunk. Excuse me. That's why they call it blackout drunk. Hello? Summarize for me, because apparently that's what I need to leave. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there. It might not. I just want to be sure. That's Take care, fair. Mizuki, okay? Yeah, leave it to me. Uh, I don't trust you though. I know you're lying to me all the time. Every single time I turn around, you're spouting more lies at me. It's terrible. It's unprofessional. It's unhelpful. He gets. Oh, we get to have a conversation with. 
now the news. Oh, Yesterday the news. Night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. I actually listened to the news? The I never did in the other realities. In the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Did we release that information? Determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park. Wait, to did we release all this life. information to the media? The PD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with... And I can't remember if I listened to this radio broadcast in the other reality and just never again listened to... At 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic happened? collision occurred. Involving five cars. Oh yes, I do remember this because I remember the five cars in the truck. One man was sent to the hospital yeah. unconscious in critical condition. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. Okay. PD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the car. You know, I remember listening to this in the other reality, but it had no actual impact. But I'm hearing it again in this reality, so it must be significant. If you hear the same radio report in two different realities, there's gotta be something important about it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Their evidence supports that this is a significant radio broadcast that simply didn't matter in one of the alternate universes, but does in this one. I don't know why I would talk to you now, but okay. Um, I'll scream boldly. <laughs> that was totally worth it. Are you a ghost? Idiot. That was awesome. Who you? Me? <laughs> me. Who? I said me. <laughs> but are you a ghost? Oh, that's Not awesome. Ghost. Great use of pronouns. Iba? That's funny. But why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. You seem lonely. How nice. Are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. Wait a minute. You she is the eyeball. Do that all the time, right? Also, I remember this conversation from the other one. About your appearance. Let's have this conversation Come again. Think of it. You look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. The Cyclops oh, thing. This? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought what? you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. Be Rika from Teeth Blau. <laughs> because I won't. That's funny. <laughs> it was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Although I'm not sure what Teeth Blau is. Source can't be far. I can't decide if that's an actual show that he's referencing, an actual game he's referencing, or, uh, or you know, some piece of media that actually exists, or if it's a media that only exists in the game. I'm not sure. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories, but that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. No, but... In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. And the giant cage wasn't a big enough indication of this? Nice. For example... The events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd. Yeah, I was gonna say. Or otherwise warped. Clearly, yes. They do not represent kind of like the ab the boss's reality. ability to tell the truth. The ringtone as well. Right, but Suki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that, but it's our only lead. What I would like to argue is that maybe Mizuki did hear a ringtone, but not necessarily that one. I guess I have to. Do I have to talk to you? Or oh, I just can wander around visually. All right. Uh, let me see. Fence. That's great. The bench. Yep. Okay. Tall grass? No. Uh, horses. Let's talk about the skewered horses. Okay. Nope. Alright. Control room. That would make sense. No one went in there? No. Okay. Is it in the column? Yes. Is there a phone in there? Did you check for a phone? Did you? No, you did not. Okay, cool. Perfect. Love to see it. The pole? Yes. Uh, we. I was not expecting there to be a phone in the pole. Do I have to talk to Miz uh, Mizuki? Aiba again? Is this my future? Parasol. What? Pa oh, that parasol. I guess so. Okay. I am connected to your brain via artificial nerves. Yes. I am part of your working brain. Our minds Which are one. Which is kind of troubling, but okay. Sink, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, some of my main programming is also transferred. Yeah, but see, you just that state that some main software. programming is transferred, but theoretically I more of Date would be going in, so why isn't the I Avatar Date? Sinking many times with you, although it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. That's 
that's really what I'm curious about, is why is it her when, theoretically speaking, Date's mind makes the, the majority of what's going into the sink? However, if there is, it must be... Have you checked the tall grass? PSI has already searched the area thoroughly. The tall grass. But they did not discover anything. Did they check the tall grass? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. What about the clothed eye? Let me see. I need to analyze the surrounding. It is certainly the case that the phone would be placed somewhere not readily Ah, uh, my knee-jerk responses are the control room, the tall all. grass, inside a horse. Did you check the horse? The horse? Shoko's body was placed on this horse. See, my third guess was correct. But I can't open up a horse. Oh, I can open up this horse, though. Okay, sure. This one single horse. I didn't know this was the horse she was on, by the way. Look at that. It appears to be a smartphone. Yes, but how did it get into the horse? Why? You doubted me. Well, I didn't know that this so was the specific I horse. I cannot find any weaknesses or scenes Exactly. In the, the horse's neck does not detach either. There must be some hole the mouth. or something. I found one. Where? The mouth of the horse. Boom. I might be I'm a genius. Inside. I'm a genius. One moment. Now, yes, you can fit inside because you're an eyeball, but how are you going to get it? How did you manage this? How in hell? Is that- are you even physical? Yes. Good job, Iva. Also, whose phone is that? Great! Look at it. Iba, who owned this phone? The number is... Da, 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 da. This is a rental phone. Okay, rental. that's the fair. The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Reasonable, reasonable. Come on. I'm not surprised at all. That makes perfect sense to me. Is there oh, anything else we can learn about it? Look at the device yes. history. It's gone. No outgoing call history. This might have been the phone what used to call. History? No, maybe not. Only one call. 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Yeah, it was called Mizuki right afterwards. This phone. Yep, this that is the phone that we heard in the Somnium. Yep, all right. That's fine. What else do we know? Their name isn't displayed. Interesting. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. Well, it's a rental phone. That wouldn't surprise no me. At all. If they were using only the phone for this one purpose, then there wouldn't need to be a contact. Just a number that probably was even written down. This number is also from a rental phone. Yeah. No owner is registered. I'm not surprised at all. This seems fairly organized oh. for a murder. What happened? The battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. All right, so what else am I looking for here? We have the phone. Now what? The roof. The cityscape. What's my next play here? See, they just kind of... The phone dies, and then I just kind of have nothing else to do. Now what do I do? Okay, I'm somewhat confused. Hmm. For the first time, I'm at a loss of what to do. Oh, I talked to you. <laughs> it took me a little while to realize you were just sitting there. Of course. Call it. Let's find out. I'll take a sip of coffee while we're calling this. Uh. That was a much faster connection than I was expecting. I was expecting three rings. Are you an idiot? They hung up. Oh, you think so? <laughs> what kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they're from the police? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't smart. I couldn't help it. I wasn't ready. I, I just said the first thing that came into my head. You told me to call. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. <laughs> there is no other word for it. You're telling yes. me. My disappointment is also immeasurable. Iba, can you call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. <laughs> I don't know, man. You goofed it pretty bad. The number you have dialed is no longer. Oh, they there. killed the service. Damn, they killed the rental. Denied. Call denied? Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reka from the Cabaret Club did to <laughs> your number. Damn, you remember that? Yeah, so it's a cabaret club, okay. Call Reka. Call Reka. What? Why? <laughs> I want to hear her voice. She put you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can, but I won't. Use a payphone <laughs> if you want to call her. That's pretty funny. 
That's fair. So he just stopped using regular phones. Because she's more convenient than a regular phone normally. I see. I'm not going to bother asking you that. I also don't care about that really. I want to see what cell tower this is connected to. Near 3rd Street, Shinjuku. Okay. That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. Okay, I can perfect. Tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The power also appears to be off. Mm -hmm. I cannot connect from any line because you blew it. <laughs> yeah, that should have been like something we should have done immediately. We should go to Sh Shinjuku. There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. All right. So what's Plan B? Can we ask this? Probably someone involved in the incident. No shit, Iva. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police, then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Yeah. No kidding. Thank you, Iva, for that. Keen ob observation. But it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this? Or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? Hmm. I'm gonna guess the culprit. Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where no, are there isn't. Going? Iris's house? Yeah. Why not? I'm curious. She's connected About your somehow. Prophecy? Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. I would rather be 100% sure that it's nothing rather than wander around and hope it's nothing. This is a life we're playing with here, even if she's potentially a psychotic killer. <laughs> potentially, that is. Coming! Dante! He just tightens his lips. <laughs> nice. Alright, uh... Phew. Let's ask where your mother is. This is suspicious. By the way, where's your mom? She left earlier. I like how she goes. He goes. By the way, someone. She looked kind of panicky too. Uh oh, it's blackmail. Uh, don't know. She didn't tell me. And you didn't ask. Uh, I'll ask how you are. I'm hop hop hoppy happy. The hell is that? Hop hop hop. Rabbit goes hop. Are you on something? Why do you ask? Oh well. See. I think you're gonna die. Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Are you seriously going to tell her that? <laughs> you hush. Hmm? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just insane. I'm gonna look at you for a second, impatiently. That's concerning, but okay. I'm gonna stand here silently, like a cool Dante, dude. You have confirmed that Iris is safe. Yes. Are you done here? I know, I know. Uh, bye. Dante, you came, but... Aren't you a little early? Huh? You said you would play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. No, I didn't. I did promise to go on a date with you. Tomorrow? It's not even midnight yet. What can I say? I'm an anxious man. I kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. See, no matter how you oh, look you at it, she drink? somehow works blackmail into this. No, sorry. I should be going. What? Leaving already? Yeah. I have some work to do. I just well, came to make sure you weren't dead. Stream at one? At stream? one? Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. And you're gonna stream online? 1 a.m.? Yeah. At one in the morning. Yeah. You're a young woman. That's... You shouldn't stay up so late. That's an interesting time to choose to stream oh, as an idol. Jeez, you sound like an old man. Because he is an <laughs> old man. He's actually not it's that fine. old. Today isn't for work, it's just a personal stream. Hold on. Is there such a thing? I mean, technically speaking, when you're streaming and you can potentially collect revenues from that isn't that technically work even if you don't That's necessarily treat it as work and tomorrow is sunday the day isn't the issue either anyway please watch okay i'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date that see this still strikes me as blackmailish material <sighs> Date, i have been thinking that's trouble i am glad that nothing bad happened yeah no kidding you're right Yet. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Yeah, you think about it that way too much, guy. And now we're gonna speed. Cool. Well, I'm a cop, so I guess I can. That seems okay. This this checks out. Classic cop behavior. Beautiful. And now what? Myself. Talk to myself. There would be no point. What do you mean? We had such a good time last time. Oh, look crazy. Let's not. No, do it. Do it. 
Come on. Play a game. Let's go. Let's play a word game. Okay, bring it on. Yes. Read white ten times. White, 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 white. Think of your favorite cabaret girl. <laughs> now, what does a cow drink? Milk. What? No. That's not what cows drink. Well, technically speaking, the calves do. But once a cow is an adult, they just drink water. I'm a handsome devil. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't want to look at the desk. I want to look at Iba. Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. Yes. Did I watch the stream? What exactly are you planning to do? Basically, bodyguard her. Seriously? It's a social date. A social date. This is bond. You absolutely must keep your word. She's not Have you wrong. Ever heard of a white lie? So you're gonna act like it never happened. That's not what I said. The date's <laughs> not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Ah, but you're forgetting that's a two-person oh, person equation. So you are not planning a real And she might not consider that a date. No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Iba. Pardon? Ooh. Are you jealous? Jealous <laughs> AI. I would <laughs> never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Uh huh. Sure. Interesting. Oh, we've got all these dynamics going on here. I'm watching the file of Shoko Nadami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. <laughs> Thanks. That's helpful. Hey, Date. Why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? Why? Marble in Golden Yokocho. But why? Okay, so just for Mama. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Take Iris there. That's you know a sane thing to do. There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki. Really? But we will need to speak with her directly. I've been through two and a half realities dealing with Mizuki and the sur the interesting facts surrounding her. Well, let me see. Let's talk about Mizuki first. She was returned to the hospital after the sink. Mm -hmm. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. You know, hmm? I'm okay with this Strange. because this keeps her out of harm's way. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. That's the GPS interesting. GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. She went home by herself. Possibly. Okay. But why? Unknown. I imagine the hospital is a pretty depressing place to chill. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. Okay, good. Thank you. First, the owner was Are you going to tell me all of them? Okay, interesting. It was Shoko's phone? Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Hold up. Hold up. Let me go through a normal thought process of your average criminal. Okay. I got a rental phone. I'm a criminal. I intend on doing criminal activities. Or I have been doing criminal activities. And I need a rental phone to conceal my identity. So that way it can't be traced back to me. I set up the security. I can use a passcode, or I can use facial recognition. Why in hell would I use facial recognition for a rental phone that's supposed to be used to conceal my identity in contacts? Hello? That's idiotic. It's just Sorry, stupid. We don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. Yeah, that's. I can make a deduction with this information. Awesome. How? We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Yes. Right? Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. Also after correct. After Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. That the, the caller, caller knew... ...wasn't the murderer. Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Ex Maybe. Unless they were calling to ensure that she died. But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call, so that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the No, phone? that doesn't make sense. They would have left it somewhere easier to find. True. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to get it out without Iba somehow getting it out with the questionable physicality of her current body. Because that's but something that way, nobody is addressing. But mysterious caller is suspicious. Yes. Consider this. They did not register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. And on top of that, they blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. The blame lies entirely with... I agree. Yeah, that was a stupid thing. Salary. I'll cut your battery. <laughs> Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> you have to identify the caller if you don't want your salary cut. Damn it. <sighs> Fine. Not my salary. My fictional salary All is important to me. Been erased. There's nothing I don't even know if I'm being itself, paid. But we can still look up its records. I mean, considering how honest boss has been with us the whole time, I am not even sure Date is getting money for this. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office Interesting. is into it now. You have a lot of friends that kind of makes me worried. 
There's been no progress, as usual. The people at the main office are so incompetent. Okay. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. I'm not really sure that they're incompetent so much About as there just wasn't a whole lot to work with. Renju. Hey, he's still alive so far in this reality, right? Yesterday I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. Where? Central Hospital. He oh. was brought there from a traffic accident. Oh, he was the guy in the traffic accident. It's not looking good. Okay. Could it be? Capital Highway? Yep. Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. Okay. I can't believe it was so, Renju. in the other reality, the traffic accident was unimportant because it wasn't Renju driving, but in this one it was. You should go talk to him. He is Shoko Nodami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. He, he might be how him. we help Mizuki. Have has that He's ever occurred to you? The face and wake him up. Damn it, boss! Friend, really? Right? He'll understand. Oh, come on. Yeah, summarize for me again, boss. Lie to my face some more. Oh no, I'm summarizing. Okay. Central Hospital. Yep. Renju, who might live through this reality. Okay. Iba, let's move. Roger that. All right. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go tell Mizuki her father's alive. That might be good. That's probably the move here. Uh, why are you here? Iris's mother. Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Yeah, uh, sure. Um, I like how Mizuki straight up doesn't care. What are you doing? What's it look like? She's talking. Hello. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. What the fuck happened here? I received a Nile message from Mizuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I Interesting. Right away. Girls so you're Mizuki's so teacher. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher. Okay. That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. All I right. Went to the hospital to pick her up. Okay. She left earlier. She got a Nile message. Yeah, I already made someone. this connection. Thank you, uh, Iba, for reminding me of Mizuki something I already remembered. Saying that she wanted to go home, not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I okay. apologize for coming over without asking. Nah, it's fine. It's chill. I think you're kind of a victim in all of this, but okay. Uh, I. You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. She's very calming, I Hitomi is. Her me. Held her? Oh, the motherly thing. I was thing. her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher. Uh, the the affection she'd been looking for from her mother, she was now. getting from Hitomi. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears. I Good, think. okay. I can see this. Why are we going to x-ray her? But okay, let's x-ray her for some reason. Metal plate. A plate of medical grade titanium. Yeah, that's from when shoulder. she was shot in the other reality. I'm assuming it is consistent through these realities. Uh, let me ask about your right arm. Well, let me pry a little bit here. Oh, does it bother? No, me? I just want to know the story. Not move it. No, I can't even feel it. I'm afraid. Okay. Was there an accident or? I suppose you might call it that. About you were... six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. Hey, she's gonna be honest and about it. And... Sweet! Amen to this! Anyway, the story is, one day a Okay, she's not gonna be completely house. honest about it. He was carrying it. a gun. And the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Alright. Just a random crime. So that's where they framed him for the... Okay, so I wonder if, what is it, number 39 is not a detective in this reality. I'm kind of curious. She's a little quiet, but she's a very oh, yeah. good girl. Oh yeah, oh yeah. More than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. So not she's... that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good But who girl. does? Honestly, come on. Record. There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science That's class. That's nice, because they were all going to die, Another time, horribly. she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Oh, I know about that one. Just incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy, and just like Renju. Interesting. 
Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renji. Right. But he described you as a relative. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? Mizuki explained the situation They're kind of like brothers at this point, really, from what I'm hearing. Uh, that's the famous pipe. So that's where she got it from. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> you said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes. At I high. still kind of suspect Renju might be Iris' and actual father and she's actually 20. Here. That's right. A district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Probably not. Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... Yeah, but this is the kind of thing you would... coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Well, at least you're smart to realize that. really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school district. Really? That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes. Interesting. But I heard that Shoko didn't have a... Well, yeah, she had criminal contacts here. She wouldn't. Interesting. That's quite a... Well, I guess we'll talk to... I didn't want to talk to the bench press. Thank you. Uh, do you know about Renju? You should probably know. Did you hear about this? I think he'll make it, but I'm not sure. What's wrong with Daddy? He's been hit by a car, basically. She does not know about the accident. He was in a car when he was hit by the car, but he was still hit by a car. Nazuki. Renju sent you that knowledge. Hey, hey look at that. I'll just throw out this guess. I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? <laughs> it was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please yep. come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. I'm wondering if Renju survives yeah, this reality. That, that would be really it's helpful. Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... No, your father was, so you kept was busy being hit by a yeah. car. Don't worry about My it. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting yep. on me? So whoever I sent the message go. knew like enough about home. Mizuki that she would Park, immediately and desperately respond to stairs. that message in that there way. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Interesting. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Okay, hold on. This made sense before- I've never actually addressed this. This made sense originally before I knew- before we knew that Mizuki was abnormally strong and basically a fictional ninja in real life. She didn't need Oda. Oda's completely useless considering her strength. Oda was there yeah, to be protected by Mizuki. Well, the only thing he could do is watch her back. That's about it. So that way, she wouldn't get ambushed. That's about it. I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Okay, that's fair. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. Nah, that's not fair. I'm a detective. I listen to everything. Just not necessarily the same things that most people do. The ice pick was... It was... It was... I don't know why you care. She was hag number one. I couldn't think straight. I the only thing I could think was Which this does out. make sense. So you pulled it out. Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Oda, that hear hero of legend. Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. Yeah, but the horse was barfing up ringtones. I just got scared and ran into the column. The so that's what got the... you into the column was this, the phone ringing. Confirmed. Interesting. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Interesting. Uh, let me ask this question. I don't think so. Okay. I thought it was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. That it's is okay. significant. Well, we already know that it's in Renju's body. So oh no, wait, Renju isn't dead. It can't be in his body right now. It was already gone when she got okay, yeah. That eyeball has Unless he gets kidnapped out of the hospital and killed. Taken by the culprit. Interesting. Let's talk about Hitomi a little bit. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. 
Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she... She is lonely. So lonely. She's so much I can't help myself. more different from everyone else. Stronger and generally more intelligent than most people her age. Anyway, She's Mizuki going to be kind of distant from other people in her age group. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's just all too coincidental. With that being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here. Because I'm at 50 minutes. I don't want to make this over an hour like last time. We shall continue this on another day. Thank you all very much for joining me. If you liked this, please like and subscribe. If not, ignore me. Have a great 24 hours.